We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Madam Roy back again the day after Christmas, the 26th. Shouldn't have had to look at it, but but you know what? <laughs> I'm still half asleep. I got up around 8.30, had my breakfast on my second cup of coffee, but my allergies here are just going crazy. So unfortunately, I'm not that alert right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the temperature. It is really cold right now. I'm going to flip you guys around and we'll look All right, the well, door. if you look right here, it says... You gotta focus on my thing. About 19 degrees. It's actually a little colder than that because the sun is uh, hitting the thermometer and heating it up just a bit. Last I checked on my phone, it was still about 14 degrees. So we're gonna see if that truck will start in this weather. So stay tuned with me, and we'll go ahead and do a cold start. I'm gonna show you guys what I did wind up bringing with us. Um, I wanted to be able to brew my own coffee. My uncle, as you might remember, uses these little manual cups. You basically put that on top of your coffee cup. Put a filter in the coffee there, and then it drips down. Of course, I like my Keurig, so I brought the uh, old Cuisinart Keurig K-Cup brew with it. I had in the trailer, which I have since replaced with a Keurig Mini. And this thing's actually worked really, really well. Very simple. You just basically put the water in up here, and you got to make sure this is open. Put your K-Cup in, turn it on. You can hit either brew for brewing coffee, or you don't put a cup in there at all. You can just brew hot water with this one. Works really well. Not as fast of a brewing as a real Keurig is. It takes maybe about two minutes to brew a cup of coffee instead of a minute. But you know what? I'm not complaining. It does a really good job. And yes, I do still have a bunch of these right here. The naturally flavored uh, cinnamon organic coffee. Love this. Been having this every morning. I am going to go and pick up... I did pick up a few more of these the other day, as you saw in the previous vlog. But I also want to pick up some of the Maxwell House um, Caffeine Boost coffee they have. Really good tasting. I thought originally I didn't like it, but it looked like the first one or two uh, pods were compromised. Because the coffee was really bitter when I started getting towards the end. The taste was awesome, so I'm just going to make sure when I get one, I get a package It doesn't look like it's been damaged. And yes, the sign is still here, and it still rings true. Drink coffee. You do stupid things faster and with more energy. <laughs> All right, Talk Tuber, so Dad and I are getting ready to go out and start the truck. Dad looks like he's dressing for an Arctic expedition here. You're the first time I bundled up this year. Yeah, tell me about it. Look at this, he's got his hat on, he's got his gloves. Unfortunately, I can't wear gloves because I can't film with them. But I think I will put my hat on. If I can get my gloves on. Yeah, right. Oh yeah, this this should be funny. You guys got to see this with his hands. He can never get his gloves on, let's see. <laughs> Being a mechanic all those years, his hands have swelled up and uh, they haven't gone back to the normal Ooh, size 7X. yet. 7X. 7X? Yeah. That's insane. That is insane. Look at that. <sighs> I still can't believe that. I, I, I've tried his gloves on, and they just, like, fall right off my hand. All right. Well, once you shove those big sausage uh, links into those, we'll go ahead and start the, uh, we'll go ahead and start the truck. All right. We're, we're heading out. I got my hat on. Going to try to walk down these steps. Hopefully, we're not going to fall. Woo-wee! It is cold, cold, cold. This thing actually says about 20, but it's colder than that. Whoa. Whoa. It is slippery, slippery, slippery. But it's still a winter wonderland, as you guys can see. Nice blue sky, but lots of snow on the ground here. Truck's not too bad. It shouldn't take us but a minute or two to clear it off, and then uh, we'll see if this beast, this beast, this beast, this beast, this beast starts at about 10 degrees, the block. So I'm going to turn you guys around. We'll see yeah, what happens. brushing off full of the snow here. This side hardly has anything on it at all. Yeah, just go like this. Very powdery snow. Woo! Dad's got his keys, so we can get in here. Oh. <laughs> All right. This is going to be the big cold start. Oh, you can see my breath. I can really see my breath here. Let me open my door. I'm going to leave my door open so you guys can hear it. Wow. 
Wow. wow. That's insane. Wow. That is... Started. I know, right? We've never had it this cold. Well, there you go, guys. I mean, that's proof in the pudding right there. This thing starts... This thing will probably start perfectly in sub-zero temperatures. They were coming as an afford, and then the has been saying that, too. That's incredible. So, I don't think I have any problems with this. We got to do some shopping, and I'll catch up with you guys a little bit later. All right, tubers, well, as you can see from here, it's a little after one, and I just want to show you, I did wind up setting up my uncle's printer. This is that Epson XP446 that we got from uh, Walmart. He's really been happy about this. He needed a printer, though. I'm not sure what this is. It's like um, a film that's on here. I've tried getting it off, but that's about as much as I could get off, and it's not really... Hang on a second... No, there's no like um, plastic wrap on there, but anyway, printer works well. It's not a touch screen like mine, but should wake up here. There we go. Has all the different options there. You got copy, print photos, scan. Uh, what else we got? More functions, quiet mode, setup, help, and Wi Fi setup. I do have this set up to the Wi Fi, and it's actually physically connected to his computer down here via the uh, USB port. Uh, this is an old HP that my pre my other uncle that passed away bought back, I think in 2009, had um, Windows 7 on originally. I went and totally redid this uh, about a year ago. Now this has Windows 10. But yeah, really, really pleased with this printer so far. The one thing I don't like about it, though, and I didn't realize this when we bought it, is that the paper tray, the paper is the old school kind that comes out of the top, unlike mine, where the paper actually sits underneath the printer. The main two reasons I don't like this design. One, it takes up extra room. You know, in other words, you have to have this thing sticking up all the time. I actually had to move the speakers up here over a little bit because the wires were interfering with it. Um, and two, you know, it's just harder to reach because when you're trying to refill it, you know, the other kind, you just pull the tray out, put the paper in, put the tray back in, you're good to go. With this one, you know, depending on where it is, luckily he has a lot of room here, but most people have a back on their... Um, computer desk there and it's really really hard to reach back there and have to put paper in not to mention the fact to change the size you pull this down and you have to push this in or out so unless you have really easy access in the back this just isn't the most convenient design i think that's why most that's why most of the modern printer manufacturers do it this way now but i'll digress it's good enough for what he uses it for he is very happy the fact that it is an all-in-one because his old printer was not his old printer was just a uh old hp desk jet it was just a regular printer i believe it was something that my uncle actually got for free when he purchased this computer down here so once again a huge upgrade for him he's going to be able to scan his photos and his work documents so there you go uncle chris you're welcome, and enjoy All your right, new printer. so still around the same time. Looks like we're sitting right now at about 22 degrees, though I think it's a few degrees cooler than that because, again, this actually gets the sun. I'm going to step out here for a minute, but I'm not going to be out of here long because it is really, really cool. Went over and helped my uncle's neighbor. She needed to uh, purchase a battery for her cell phone. Did that, kind of cleaned up the files on her computer. As you can see back there, way in the background, there's the Raymond Forklift Company, really, really close to where my uncle lives. Actually, most of my family at one time or another has worked at that factory. Really, really awesome, though. I love this cooler weather. It's not something we get to uh, experience in Virginia all that much. If we do, it's usually not till the end of January, beginning of February. But yeah, I think we're going to come back up here maybe in a few months, help my uncle scrape, because certain parts of the house going to start need to be painted again like right here you can see the paint's kind of peeling there so definitely want to help him do that but this is about as much as i can handle out here tubers it is just really really cold so i'm going to head back inside we'll see what the rest of the day brings i don't think this is going to be a super long vlog either that or i'm going to make it another multi-day vlog so i'll talk to you guys all right tubers so and my aunt's here the two dogs are here and we're getting ready to start decorating some cookies she's got them right here 
little uh, candy canes, and I think she's got gingerbread men on the bottom, or no? No, they're just candy canes. Candy canes, and she said there was something else in there. I don't know what's in the bottom. Looks like, oh, Looks like so stockings. Candy canes. Oh, stockings. Stockings. Yep, candy canes and stockings. Mom's just getting the uh, frosting ready. I took a bite. It's delicious. I know, I don't need it, but you know what? This is going to be the last, probably the last of our cheat days. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Where's the doggies? Oh, here's Lila. What you doing, Lila? Wanna say hi? Say hi everybody on YouTube, Lila. This is Lila. She's a little uh, Jack, Russell. Jack Russell and Pointer. And this is Luigi, who is a Chihuahua Poodle. Yeah. My aunt's dogs. You guys are so Very cute sweet. as you are. Very sweet doggies. We're going to get started here. I might have Mom film a little bit if she can figure it out. I'm trying to figure out how to open this. And uh, be back to you guys in a bit. What'd you do? I didn't want to get my hands, but I couldn't open Ugh. it. I don't know how to it's get It's food coloring. Yeah, oh, look a, at it's that. It's a gel. It's a gel. I usually, so. yeah, you could use that. Sometimes I use the... She got it on her fingers. I got it on my hands. I didn't want to get my hands. Uh-oh. Oh, well. It'll be all right. Let's just mix it in there. Now we have yeah. green. And then, oh, that actually mixes really well. Mm -hmm. To be, it's not St. Patrick's Day, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it should be darker green. Uh, no, that looks about right to me. I think it just needs to keep you need to keep mixing it together. There we go. I like they the gel. Oh, sure. It mixes sure really well. I don't know. We're losing everything here today. I know. <laughs> That's, That's it. Now Luckily, we, we still have the printer if we need to make any copies. That's green. Now we need red. Yum. That's yellow. Doesn't that look good? No, 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 no. Yellow. Yeah, here comes the yellow food. Gotta be careful with yellow because if you do too much, it gets orangey. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Now, do you have, uh, or it looks a lot like pee. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't think we have red in the gel anymore. We ran out of that too. I gotta replace this year. I, I ran out of a lot of stuff. One more little dip. Sometimes with the red, you have a teeny bit of black and it doesn't look so red. Pink. Okay. I don't even know. That looks more goldish. Should I put a little more in there? Yeah, a little more yellow. But I don't want it. I don't want it like orange. That's it's not as yellow as the uh, camera's yellow. making it out to be. Huh. Probably have to turn the heat down a little bit. All right, I'll let mom do this. I'm gonna go turn the heat down. See what it's up to. Heat is up to wow, 71. All right, let's turn that back yeah, to about 68. Around, yeah, there's the Christmas tree. Not lit today. We probably should plug that in, but. Right now, our focus is on decorating cookies. All right, tubers, I'm going to pause this and uh, show you guys what we come up with. Talk to you All guys right, tubers, in a bit. So, Mom and I are here decorating these candy canes. What have you gotten so far? Yeah, I'm going to try to do a stripe. She's going to try to do a stripe. This is what I've gotten to do so far. These two right here. I did uh, a green and red. Brown or white egg? No. Oh, I don't know. No. This, this one right here, a little candy cane, green and red. And then I got this one red where I put these little snowflakes on. But we're just going to have fun with it. Mom's trying a stripe. I don't know if I'm that artistic take, to be able to do long, this. I, think. I don't know. We'll see. I think it's too long. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, they're coming out really nice. Mom finished it. So we got the red frosting, the green frosting, the white, and then the yellow there. Probably going to eat a lot, a lot of uh, cookies tonight once they're done. <laughs> I don't know, we'll play it by ear and uh, see what other designs we come up with. All right, coming along nicely. Got one green one here with some uh, stars on it. This has actually got crushed uh, pieces of peppermint candy canes. You can see it right back there. I tried to blend this a little bit. I'm not the most artistic person, but it came out all right. And then I got the other ones I did right there. So I'm going to do a few more, but uh, I think I'm going to need some frosting here in a minute because I need a little Ooh. sugar boost. Ooh. You can see mom over there. What's she doing? Making stockings. I made, okay. a, I made a red one. Now I'm making a green one. Nice. Oh, these look so good. Good enough to course. eat, right? Yep. <laughs> We're not going to eat all of them, though, because uh, Lisa wants I to give I, some I away. I'll oh, I'll definitely. I haven't tried one yet. They'll take a bite of one, see what you think. Oh, no. I'll, I'll, I'll just throw some on. I'm not going to decorate the one I take a bite of. <laughs> I don't blame you. Let's get back to work and uh, catch up with you guys on the All flip right, side. Tubers, that's going to be it. I am really cold. I'm out here filming because we still have a house full of relatives. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know there wasn't as many as I would have hoped to do, but we were just having a lot of fun with the family. Hope everybody had a Merry Christmas, got everything they wanted for Christmas. Have a Happy New Year. People are rushing down the road as usual. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.